Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Wherever you are in the world, whether it's morning, evening, afternoon, or night, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for being subscribers, those of you who are, those of you who stop by every now and then, thank you. Those of you who leave me comments, reach out to me by email. I appreciate you all as well. I wanted to talk with you all today about just keeping your focus on God. Keeping your focus on God, because in these days and these times and with everything that's going on, it is, it's quite easy to become discouraged, scared, like what in the world? But I want to encourage you to just keep your eyes on God and trust him to protect and to keep you. We are all being challenged in some way or another. Maybe there are things you're discovering about yourself. Maybe you find yourself faltering in some ways. Maybe you're to one extreme or another. Maybe you're not sure if God is still with you. Maybe you don't know. Maybe there are things that's happening in your life that will cause you to question God whether it's loss of loved ones or feeling sick or being sick for some time, I just want to encourage you all just to trust God regardless. This body, this world, this flesh that we're in, everything is temporary. And we have to just become more and more dependent on God in leading us. Do not allow your shortcomings or anything that you may be going through to be the decision-making factor in your relationship with God. Rather, no matter where you're at, don't hesitate or don't neglect to pray and ask God to guide you and to lead you. There are a lot of people who are focused on works and by that, I mean, they think by church attendance and, and doing certain things that this is going to, this is what brings you closer to God, but it is not by religion and it's not by these habitual weekly behaviors and actions in which you're going to grow close to God because there are lots of people, lots of Christians who are, they are loyal. They are, they are unfailing in attending church and, and showing up, but in their personal lives, they are deplorable individuals on their jobs. They are horrible. And yet they're always in church because you see, you can go into church and you can do all these different things and be very far away from God. So I would just say, make sure your garments are clean and not what we think clean is, but to his standard. And that is simply by asking him, Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Help me to see what you see. Help me to hear what you hear. Let me not be blinded by myself. Let me not be blinded by my shortcomings. Let me not be blinded by my pride in thinking I know it all. Let me not become confident in church attendance and confident in the fact that I am giving tithes and offering and that I am doing all these things because I'm part of certain committees that I am, this puts me in right standing with you. Let me not do these things and neglect the most important thing, which is the condition of my soul, which is my relationship with you. Help me in times when I am failing and failing willingly. Take away the desire where I want to be where I may want to procrastinate or be stagnant or I'm tired or I, I am falling behind. Lord, place 
your power within me that I will be stripped of myself and be more inclined to do your will. You see, these are the types of things that you have to say, and it may not be exactly like that. It could be just, please help me. Each day, you may just say, God, guide me today. Lead me today. Change my heart. Change my mind. Even if you get up and say, create in me a clean heart, oh God. Allow him to do that. And you're going to find that in this world of chaos and everything that's going on, you're going to have a peace. A peace that passes all understanding. You will see that in a world where people are telling you that you don't qualify and you can't get this and you can't get that. You'll see that God will make a way for you. You'll see where people are saying, well, I can't. The only way you're going to get this is if you provide us this or that. You will see that God will move mountains for you. Let us keep our eyes on our Savior, Lord and Jesus Christ. Let us not allow this world and what's going on in it to distract us. Let us not allow our own shortcomings to be the judge and the author and the finisher of our faith. Look beyond yourself and more than ever become more and more dependent on God.